Whoa, what's good, T. Hilligan? We back at it again with another one. You dig what I'm saying? And y'all knew I sat down and watched that football yesterday. <laughs> All right, man. Some takeaways from yesterday, bro. Let's be real about yesterday. All right, I already told my spill on the Giants. You know what I'm saying? The Redskins are not are not are not a championship team. Let's just get that let's get that out the way. You know what I mean? I bet twenty dollars that the Giants were gonna beat the Redskins and I lost twenty dollars. I know what y'all thinking. Come on, T. You smarter than that. Giants one and six, Redskins five and two, but the way I seen it, bro, the Redskins like are not one of those teams that can how can I say this, bro? Like, Alex Smith is a really good quarterback, but he's just conservative. You know what I mean? Like, and yesterday, bro, the Giants had a lot of chances to really put that game away, bro. Two picks by Eli to DJ Swearinger. I, I'm not, you know, I'm not even going to go into that game because go visit Ryan Effect. Go to my boy Ryan Effect's page. On YouTube, it's Ron Effect. And go watch his videos because he he's he's already upset about this giant. You know what I'm saying? Uh oh, so a couple of things we we learned yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, the Saints have a defensive back issue, obviously. You know what I'm saying? But you don't have an offense issue. Your offense is amazing. This, you know I'm saying Drew, Drew Brees is efficient. Uh, Sean Payton is doing what he does, bro. Calling offensive plays, you know what I'm saying? Putting things in happen. They just got to figure out that whole secondary issue. Because Eli Apple ain't it. And P.J. Williams, he finished. At least he finished. That's all I can say. He finished. You know what I'm saying? So, all right. And then, then we go to the Rams and Kansas City. The Rams are legit. You know what I'm saying? Because Green Bay is a legit team. They just, just everywhere this year. Um, well, also, too, they got rid of Aaron Rodgers' best target. You know what I'm saying? You got rid of Jordy Nelson. So, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, he still has Devontae Adams and Randall Cobb, but everybody knows he loves the throwing, throwing even out of the pocket to, to, rent, uh, to Jordy Nelson. You know what I'm saying? So I'm pretty sure that's why they kind of shaking up a little bit. And then Kansas City is legit, bro. I'm uh, and they, they, I'm a Chargers fan. They're in my division, bro, and they are legit. You know what I'm saying? I'm honestly hoping that the Raiders can kind of put together uh, some kind of hee haw to come. Kind of saying Raiders or the Broncos, cause I I hope we beat them the second time around, bro. They beat us the the first time around in the first game. Uh, and it was a really good game. We ended up coming back, but. It just wasn't enough. You know what I mean? This is a team that you've got to stop the offense, bro. Kansas City is legit. New Orleans is legit. And we also and we already know that the Rams are legit. You know what I'm saying? You beat a they, you beat a quality team. I feel like I feel like you know what I'm saying Kansas City, you beat the you know what I'm saying you, you took another step in the division, bro. We have no choice as a Chargers fan, we have no choice but to try to make the the, the wild card. You know what I'm saying? That's the way it is right now, bro. We have no choice but to try to make the wild card, bro, because these dudes are not slowing down. You know what I mean? So, honestly, bro, that's, that's, that's something we learned yesterday that was for sure, for sure a come out. You know what I'm saying? The Vikings are, you know what I'm saying? Honestly, the NFC is going to, in my opinion, uh, it's going to have to be out of the Saints or the Rams. You know what I'm saying? Like, those are the two most legit teams in the NFC, bro. The Cowboys are a good team, bro. Don't get me wrong. The Cowboys are a good team. Just got to put it together. You know what I'm saying? You picked up Amari. You, you, pay, you overpaid for him, but you picked him up. That was really good. You know what I mean? So, and they were on a bye week, so that was a good pickup. You know what I mean? They picked him up in the bye week, so he has really two weeks to prepare for their next game. That's really good. The Saints have the Rams this upcoming weekend in New Orleans, so that's a big game. That's a really big game. We're past the halfway mark now, so teams are gonna really like. So I, I'm pretty much the playbooks are already in. Only thing teams are doing now are probably stealing plays from other teams that work. 
and they'll probably work in their division. Just use them in divisional games. But other than that, bro, uh, this football season has been very interesting with the ties, uh, some teams taking L's, some teams trading pieces. And I'm not going to sleep on the Raiders, bro. They're going to be trash this year, but I'm going to sit back and let John Gruden put together his team and see where this goes. That's what I'm going to do. Like, I, I – like – because a lot of coaches want to do that. They want to build their own team. They want to put their own team together. And honestly, you got 10 mil for 10 years. 100 mil all, uh, all together, man. Hey, do it. But one thing I'm paying attention to, if I'm the Raiders, bro, I'm trying to cut ties as soon as I can if this doesn't work out. Because you just got rid of a two-time Pro Bowl wide receiver. You try to get rid of their uh, MVP. Their, uh, their quarterback, who was a, a MVP candidate in 2014, and you're trying to get rid of, uh, and he already got rid of Khalil Mack, and you don't have any pass rushes, so I'm pretty sure you're looking at a hell of a lot of pass rushes this offseason in college right now, so, ah, so like I said, man, I just want to see the Raiders put it together, man. Honestly, in my division, I really don't. I really don't want them to put it together. I really, I, I, I don't want to see. I don't want to say I want someone to fail, but. If John Gruden puts it together, I just don't want him to be my charges. <laughs> That's all. You know what I mean? So, legit contenders for the NFC, we know for sure, are the Rams and the Saints. For sure, legit. And then everything else is going to have to come around full of swing, man. I'm just going to have to sit back and watch. And then as far as the AFC right now, man, Patriots, Chiefs, Got a lot of good teams on both sides right now, bro. This is this is literally looking like a really good season because it's hard to tell who the other other teams are gonna come up. You know what I mean? How these last eight games, these last eight games are very important because you, you, everybody, everyone has to know what they're doing. So, man, this is my take on on this week, man. Uh, get in the comment section, subscribe if you're new, but definitely get in my comment section. Let me know what y'all think about this week, who y'all uh, playoff contenders are right now so far. And, man, it's been a really good week of football, bro. Tonight we have the Patriots. They play the Bills. I'm going to side with the Patriots. I, I just – I'm sorry. I can't vote against Tom Brady. You know what I'm saying? So – and then the Bills quarterback situation is everywhere. So, I, I'm i sorry. You know what I mean? I just can't vote against Tom Brady in this game. So, and then they're not going to have a Sean McCoy tonight. So, you know what I mean? So, let's just go ahead and see what happens. But I'm going to give it – I'm going to I'm going to predict that the Patriots start off slow just to feel them out, and then they're going to beat the Bills tonight. You know what I'm saying? So that's what that's my take on this NFL weekend, man. I didn't get all the games. I'm going to come with another video next, and I'm going to probably talk about the Carolina game. Carolina and uh, Carolina, Carolina and Ravens game. I'm going to talk about that game next. I'm saying my team had a bye, so you know, we we're definitely looking to keep our momentum going. So. Y'all see boy tears, man. Y'all comment, like, and subscribe. Subscribe, especially if you're new. Comment in the comment section. Go ahead and like this video. Just like this video. It doesn't matter, bro. Just go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, let me know what your, what your thoughts was, man. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy tears, man. I'm out.